we know, as, as was said uh, by both men, uh, that the attacks are going to, to come. Uh, if we're part of this struggle, we have to expect attacks. And I think uh, Professor Churchill broke down the, the historical trajectory of the FBI and before that the BOI of the, the way they, how they attack people in struggle. Um, we know that the, uh, the state is, is never going to be um, on the side of us, the people, because it, it goes against their interests as a colonial state, as was clearly said. When the colonized people, Africans, indigenous people, uh, Mexican people, any, any colonized people organize in any way to fight back, we have to expect uh, attacks. And I think that it is without any exaggeration that, I'm, that I say today that if not for the level of, of organization that has been built both in the United States and internationally by the African People's Socialist Party, if it wasn't for this fight back movement, comrades right now would already be in jail. Comrades right now would already have been locked up. But the state knows that the comrades are not alone. The state knows that the, the, the work that has been built over uh, decades and decades by Chairman O'Malley and the party and, and the allies and, and all the people who have been influenced um, by the African People's Socialist Party, they know that that's something they cannot just do. They cannot just go and, and kidnap the chairman or any uh, leadership of the African People's Socialist Party and expect that there will not be a resistance. I think that's why this meeting today is so important and the continuation of this movement that all of us join, whether we are you know, members of the party, allies of the party, just friends, family, whoever we are in relations to uh, the Uhuru movement, is that, at, is at this moment we have to get the most involved and support the comrades because this is serious. And we know that in, in the past, there's been many examples. If we allow them to attack our, our leadership, if we allow them to attack our people, then they will. But if we defend ourselves and fight back, um, uh, you know, I think that that's something that they have to contend with. And that's why we're seeing, I think they're testing the waters and to see how much they can get away with. And they're seeing that it's not going to be easy for them to attack uh, Chairman O'Malley, the African People's Socialist Party, the Hulu movement, or, or anyone else.